The exact origins of the Aztec people are uncertain, but they are believed to have begun as a northern tribe of hunter-gatherers whose name comes from that of their homeland. The Aztecs appeared in Mesoamerica as the self-central region of pre-Columbian Mexico is known in the early 13th century. Their arrival came just after or perhaps helped bring about the fall of the previous dominant Mesoamerican civilization, the Toltecs. When the Aztecs saw an eagle perched on a cactus on the marshy land in the southwest border of Lake Texcoco, they saw it as a sign to build their settlement there. They drained the swampy land, constructed artificial islands on which they could plant gardens and establish the foundations of their capital city. This was Tenochtitlan in 1325 AD. Typical Aztec crops included maize along with beans, squashes, potatoes, tomatoes and avocados. They also supported themselves through fishing, and hunting local animals such as rabbits, armadillos, snakes, coyotes and wild turkeys. Their relatively sophisticated system of agriculture including intensive cultivation of land, and irrigation methods and a powerful military tradition would enable the Aztecs to build a successful state, and later an empire. When odd skull-shaped grave items were found by archaeologists decades ago at an Aztec temple in Mexico, they were assumed to be mere toys or ornaments, and were catalogued and stored in warehouses. However, years later experts discovered they were creepy death whistles, that made piercing noises resembling a human scream, which the ancient Aztecs may have used during ceremonies, sacrifices, or during battles to strike fear in their enemies. Two skull-shaped hollow whistles were found 20 years ago at the temple of the wind god Ahekazul, in the hands of a sacrificed male skeleton. When the whistles were finally blown, the sounds created were described as terrifying. The whistles make the sound of humans howling in pain. Los Angeles Times reports that some experts think the ancients used the different tones to send the brain into certain states of consciousness, or even to manage or treat illnesses. Some of the replica whistles can make these sounds, and some of the tones can reach the top range of human hearing, almost inaudible to us. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.